Let's discuss more of this. Uh, Democratic Congresswoman Zoe Lofgren of California is joining us. Congresswoman, thanks so much for joining us. The Fulton County uh, District Attorney is expected to indict, as we reported, more than a dozen people in contrast to the narrowly focused charges from the special counsel, the federal special counsel, Jack Smith. Do you think this is the right move? Well, you know, it's not something the January 6th committee looked at. We were focused at uh, the federal issues. I, I'm sure that the uh, prosecutor in Georgia is proceeding under Georgia law. Now, there's some overlap because we do know that there was an effort to have fake electors uh, submit bogus uh, certificates. That probably violates some, some uh, state laws. Uh, but like everyone else, I'm waiting to see what the prosecutor thinks that she is required to do. We'll see what happens. Uh, we've also learned, Congresswoman, that the special counsel secured a search warrant for Trump's Twitter account. Trump slammed that move, saying, and I'm quoting him now, just found out that crooked uh, Joe Biden's Department of Justice secretly attacked my Twitter account, making it a point not to let me know about this major, quote, hit on my civil rights. What do you think the special counsel wanted from this information? I don't know, but uh, as often is the case, uh, Trump is a bit unhinged. They got a warrant. The statute provides for a warrant. The statute, by the way, also provides for non-disclosure. And I just read the appellate decision. Um, Twitter really engaged in misconduct in this matter and was fined for it. Um, you know, I, I don't understand what they got. Uh, I presume there was information they thought was important to the case. That part of the, the matter is sealed from public view even today. Yeah, I assume we'll find out at some point. The New York Times uh, has obtained an internal Trump campaign memo from December 2020 that lays out the strategy for Trump to try to overturn Biden's election win. Was the January 6th committee, and you were a member of the select committee, aware of this memo? And how significant do you think this is? Well, we were aware of several other memos by Cheeseboro, one from November 18th, one from December 9th, one from December 13th, all on the same subject. But no, we did not have this December 6th memo. And I think it makes the plot, the legal plot, even more apparent than what we knew. Um, you know, I think it's significant in uh, proving the illegal conduct, although we had one uh, judge already, uh, Judge Carter, uh, fine on an evidentiary case that it was more likely than not that Mr. Eastman and Mr. Trump engaged in a crime relative to uh, these fake electors.